What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So today we're going to talk about red carpet car wash. Uh, you guys know whenever I get screwed over by somebody or by some place, I always do a video warning everyone else so that uh, hopefully you can avoid the same pitfalls. Um, so uh, I, I, I used red carpet for years. I mean, uh, not often, but I have been using them for many, many years. And, you know, when I started doing these Copart flips, I thought, you know, it only made sense to let them handle the detail because detailing is a lot of work. It's very time consuming. It, it's very uh, in-depth and I just don't have the time for it. So I don't mind paying them uh, $175 to $210 per car to do a full detail in and out, make the car look perfect. Well, on the Chevy Impala, it went to hell in a handbasket. So just off the bat, I told them I didn't want any of that greasy vinyl treatment that they put all over the dash and stuff. Because what they do is they get like these rags or something soaked in this, this grease-like stuff. And they just wipe the whole car down with it. And I mean, you get in, you grab the steering wheel or the door, and you just end up with grease all over your hands. Nobody wants that. It's disgusting. So they actually wrote on my ticket, no vinyl treatment. Good. So this car, when I first got it from Copart, was filthy. I mean, absolutely disgusting in and out. And it turned out after I gave it a quick bath, um, before I took it to, to uh, red carpet, by the way, that it had bugs. I mean, just, just the whole bumper and, and a good portion of the hood, the mirrors were covered in bug guts. So I pointed that out and, hey, no problem. They're going to take care of the bugs. Um, they're not going to do the vinyl treatment on the interior. And you know, all was supposed to be well and good. Well, that's not what happened. I went to pick up the car, and when I got the car back, uh, there were still bugs all over the front. And they were supposed to do a headlight cleaning. I ordered a headlight restoration where they, they do the sanding or whatever on the headlights to clean them up. I get there, the headlights aren't clean. They said, well, we tried, but we couldn't get them clean. Apparently, the way red carpet restores headlights is they put polish over it. Um, and when I actually took it to Walmart to get it done, they had to like get the polish off of it so that they could actually get down to the headlights to restore them. Um, so it took Walmart a lot longer. Um, they left the bug guts all over the car, all over. They're, I went back to the manager and I said, what's with all these bugs? And she said, well, that's the acid from the bugs that are now permanently embedded in your paint. And I'm looking at the car, and there are literally bugs on the mirror that I could scrape with a fingernail. They polished over the bugs. Literally just polished right over all the dead bugs. And if that's not enough, inside the car, they covered the whole damn car in that greasy vinyl treatment. So I, I was pretty upset. They, they had my car for approximately five hours. And everything was done wrong. The steam cleaning wasn't even good. The headliner still had, uh, they, they didn't touch the headliner. The headliner had like soda splattered on the top of it. So, you know, I get the car back home and the first thing I got to do is clean the headliner myself. There's shampoo that was spilt in the trunk that they didn't clean up. Um, and it cleaned up with a rag. So I don't know what the deal with that was. I decided I'm going to re-detail this car myself because red carpet totally screwed this up. I contacted them on social media and, you know, at first it was all nice and pleasant and, you know, they wanted me to bring the car to a different location so that they could do it properly. Well, this location's a good 20 plus minutes away from where I'm at. Well, why should I have to drive it to a different location where it's going to be sitting there for like five hours getting done again? I've already had it done once uh, and, and in five hours they didn't do it. Now they want me to drive even further away for another five hour detail. And I thought about letting them do it, and I was like, you know what, oh, the, the other thing, they didn't clean the rims either. Uh, uh, the rims were supposed to be completely clean. They still have grime all over them, so that's something I still have to do that. It, they dropped the ball on me. And I told them, I said, you know what, I got another detail guy that I use, um, and he's never done me wrong. I mean, this guy is really good, and he's cheaper. I said, I think I'm just going to let him do it. I'd, I'd just like a refund. Well, when I told him I'd like a refund, suddenly things changed. No longer did they want to work with me. Um, they said they could not provide a refund because they provided labor. And I said, as a business owner myself, that doesn't make any sense. If someone orders something from me and I give them, let's say, one-fifth of what they ordered, do you think I'm going to keep their money? 
Are they not entitled to a refund? I paid for a service. You didn't do it. I don't care if you spent five hours on the car. You spent five hours doing it wrong. I'm not paying for something that uh, I don't want. I ordered something completely different than what they gave me. And as it turns out, as you'll see in this video, I ended up having to go through and redo the whole car myself. I ended up compounding it, then I uh, used polish, um, and next today I'm going to be waxing it. Car turned out beautiful. All of the bugs that were Im embedded in the paint that wouldn't come out, they're all gone. No bugs. Mirrors are clean. Everything. Car looks absolutely beautiful. As good as it's going to look anyway. Um, I didn't expect anybody to work miracles. But when you, you, when you are a professional detail shop and this is what you do for a living and you look at me and you tell me bugs are embedded in my paint, but yet I go and buy a 60, $69 DA, some pads, some polish, and some wax, and it comes, it came right off for me, right off. I hit it with a DA at about 6,000 RPM, boom, everything came right off, no problem with just a little bit of turtle wax, turtle wax rubbing compound. So I hope you enjoy the video and comment below and tell me what you think. As always, like, comment, subscribe, stay safe out there.